Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Morning Leftovers. All the things we could've, should've, and would've shared yesterday during the message, but for whatever reason, didn't. Yesterday we talked about the parable of the persistent widow found in Luke chapter 18. And I made the comment that the very fact that we are persisting in prayer, praying over and over and over again about the same thing, means that God hasn't answered that prayer yet. And there's a ton of reasons why God doesn't answer our prayers immediately when we pray them. And I wanted to just share a thought about one of those reasons today as it related to the third point in my message. Now that third point, uh, as a quick refresher, was that when we pray, we ought to pray with humility. See, in terms of prayer for justice, which is what the widow in Luke 18 wanted, when we pray for justice, we often find it very hard to separate the injustice from the person who committed it. In our minds, they're blended together, and so when we pray, most often when we think we are praying for justice, we end up praying for vengeance against someone. You know, God, um, make, you know, give justice to me and make this person pay or make them hurt for what they did to me, that kind of thing. And that's vengeance, that's not justice. Probably not the way that we ought to be praying most of the time. Now, one of the reasons that I think that God waits when we bring him an issue of justice is because he's still working on that person. Third point in my notes yesterday was that God, uh, the, really the reason that we can approach God in prayer to begin with is because God exercised patience with us when we were still sinners, right? He had mercy and grace on us, and he moved his wrath far away for a time so that we could eventually come to repentance in Christ who bore that wrath for us so we could be reconnected to our Father in heaven. And I think a lot of times when God makes us wait in prayer for someone or in prayer for justice, you know, with someone that has hurt us, it's because he's working on that person in much the same way that he worked on us. If you think about your own journey and the ways that God has molded you and shaped you and made you more and more like his son Jesus, uh, you recognize that it didn't just happen instantly, right? You didn't become a Christian and all of a sudden, all of your problems were gone and you were a totally different person. Now your attitudes may have changed, your actions may have changed, but there are some parts of us that we still carry with us because we're still sinners. We always need Jesus Christ. And so we carry these things and God from time to time will convict us of them. And that's part of the process. We progressively become more and more like Jesus the longer we walk with him and the closer we walk to him. And that does not happen instantly, it is a process. So sometimes I wonder if the reason that God is maybe delaying answering a prayer is really because he's waiting on that other person and he is having grace and mercy with them while he develops them to the point that they can be a part in answering that prayer for justice. Think about it this way. If somebody did something to hurt you, maybe they said something wrong or you know they committed a sin against you, Really, the goal that, that we want to bring them to and the goal that God wants to bring them to is to repentance for their sin. That's, that's the point. But if you just tried to wrench an apology out of them right away, would that really be real repentance? I wouldn't think so. You know, a lot of times when there's an issue of reconciliation going on between two people, if both parties aren't in the same headspace, one of them... Oftentimes they'll just say, okay, okay, I'm sorry, whatever. Can we just move on and forget about it? When really, you can't. And that's not true repentance. So I think sometimes God takes time working with people, ourselves included, when we make mistakes, in order to bring us to the point where we truly repent of what we've done, of that sin that we've committed. That way, when that prayer for justice is answered and repentance happens we can actually say, or that person who hurt us can actually say, I understand exactly what I did and I understand why it hurt you and I repent of that. I don't wanna do that again and so I am committing to change my actions in the future so that I don't commit this same sin again. Does that make sense? One of the reasons that God sometimes takes that time is just because he's still working on that person or because he is working on us. So just like I said yesterday, when we pray, 
particularly when we pray for matters of justice or when we are in prayer for someone who hurt us, let's remember to exhibit the grace and the mercy and the love of Jesus Christ on that person as we pray. Thanks a lot for listening today. I hope you have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.